Hello everyone, this is Kumar here. I am again back with another Wednesday Talks on the Mainframe DevOps. So this is the continuation video from the introduction to the Mainframe DevOps from the last video. So in this uh, video, I'm going to cover a few of the topics related to the DevOps, like what are the companies uh, uh, they are providing the DevOps tools and services. And uh, we will also go in detail about each uh, company that what are the different DevOps tools that they have developed and and how uh, that's been used today by the different uh, companies. And also we will see what are the different consulting firms, uh, these DevOps pipeline services they are providing. Okay, so let me get started with the, the mainframe DevOps tools and services. So before I we talk about these companies, so let's recap like what is mainframe DevOps, right? So mainframe DevOps refers to the adoption of DevOps practices, processes, and tools in the context of uh, mainframe software development and operations. It involves like uh, automating the process of building, testing, and developing uh, and deploying software applications that are running on the mainframe system. And we can also integrate this process with traditional mainframe development methodologies. So by implementing DevOps in the mainframe environment, so the organization can achieve faster time to the market, improved quality, and uh, increased efficiency in their software development and delivery process, right? So this is particularly important in the age of this digital transformation. So that's how the mainframe DevOps came into the picture, right? Okay. Now let's talk about the DevOps tools and services, the companies that are providing. So we're starting with the Broadcom, IBM, uh, CA Technologies. In fact, the Broadcom and CA are merged together. Uh, they have acquired the CA, I think in 2018. Yeah, then we have Compuware, Rocket Software, BMC. Again, the BMC and Compuware are combined together now. Uh, Microfocus, and there are several other companies that they have been working on generating this, uh, uh, creating this Dimension DevOps tools. Okay, so now uh, what are the key components? Now let's talk about the IBM. So, uh, Many companies have already started uh, creating this mainframe DevOps pipeline and they have chosen IBM tools as their part of mainframe transformation or modernization and building the mainframe DevOps, bringing this mainframe DevOps culture into their uh, organization. Okay, And uh, you can see like there are several uh, different tools that they have developed and it's been used to create this DevOps. Uh, uh, first one is IBM Z Open Development, then uh, ADI, like IBM Application Discovery and Delivery Intelligence, then they have IBM Z Development and Test Environment, RTC, then uh, Dependency Based Build, right? So these tools definitely help the uh, our organization to have their mainframe transformation. So when we talk about the IBM Z mainframe development, it's an uh, IDE. Uh, and uh, this can be, uh, they they have the course, I mean, it, IDE and it's a source code management systems uh, like uh, Git, okay? And uh, they have like, it can integrate with Jenkins uh, and Jira to develop, test and deploy the mainframe applications, right? So it's an integrated development environment that can easily integrate with Jenkins and Jira, okay? And uh, then next talk about the application delivery, IBM application discovery and delivery intelligence. This tool provides insights into the mainframe applications development process, allowing organization to optimize their develop, DevOps workflows, right? And the next tool is IBM Z development and test environment. This tools allows developers to create and test mainframe applications on a virtual machines environment. This uh, reduces the need of physical hardware. And then we have this IBM RTC. This is uh, most widely used. You can see this tool provides a collaborative development platform that allows mainframe developers to work with other teams using different platforms and technologies. Then we have DBB. This tool automates the build process for mainframe applications, allowing developers to quickly create and deploy new releases. 
okay let's talk about some real world examples of where this ib mainframe devops tools been used one is a standard bank this is a south african bank used just used this ibm devops tool to reduce its application deployment time from weeks to just hours and then we have this delta airlines this airline used ibm mainframe devops tools to modernize its mainframe application reducing its time to market for new features by up to 90 percent so then we have this Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. So this healthcare insurer used IBM DevOps tools to streamline its mainstream application development process and help them to reduce its overall development up to by 50%. It seems. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll talk about the Broadcom. So I can say like Broadcom is one of the leading providers for the mainstream DevOps solutions, and uh, they do have several tools. As I said, like Broadcom acquired. Uh, uh, CA technologies into 2018. So that's the reason you see most of the CA uh, tools, I mean CA products or tools. Okay, the first one is uh, CA Endeavor SCM, that's a Software Change Manager. Uh, it provides source code management capabilities for mainframe applications. It allows developers to manage source code, track changes, promote code through different stages of the development cycle. Then we have the CDA. Uh, it automates the entire deployment process of mainframe applications and it provides visual interface to create and manage deployment pipelines and uh, it integrates with various DevOps tools such as like Jenkins, Git and Docker. Then they have uh, CA service virtualization and it allows mainframe developers to test their applications in a simulated environment, reducing the need of physical mainframe resources. It's good, right? It can simulate various mainframe components such as CICS, IMS, and DB2. And then they have CA File Master Plus. Uh, it provides a graphical interface to manage mainframe files. And it allows developers to browse, edit, manipulate mainframe data without requiring any knowledge of mainframe languages. Okay. Then they have CA OPS. Uh, or, or MBS environment management and automation. It provides real-time monitoring and automation capabilities for mainframe environments. It allows IT operations to proactively manage and resolve issues before they impact the business. And these tools, I can say like Broadcom, help organization to accelerate the mainframe application development and uh, help them to deploy process while maintaining the stability and reliability of the mainframe environment. Okay, this was about the Broadcom. And then we'll see about uh, the BMC Compu Wear, right? And they are also providing a lot of tools uh, in building uh, the mainframe DevOps. The first one uh, we'll see about this BMC AMI DevOps for DB2. Okay, this tool automates and simplifies database development for DB2 environments, and it allows developers to work on their own copies of data test and verify changes and then promote those changes to production. And uh, BMC CompuWay Topos, uh, it's a wonderful tool. Uh, this tool provides a comprehensive suite of uh, software development and testing tools for mainframe environment. It includes features such as code editing, debugging, unit testing, and integration testing. Then they have uh, BMC CompuWare ISPW. This tool provides uh, a mainframe DevOps platform and supports agile and DevOps practices. It includes features such as uh, continuous integration and delivery, version control, and automation testing. Then they have MainView. This tool provides real-time monitoring and management for mainframe environments. Uh, it includes features such as performance monitoring, automation, and predictive analytics. Right, And they have Control-M. This tool provides workload automation and uh, job scheduling for mainframe environments. It includes features such as visual workflow design, event-driven automation, and workload analytics. Then I can say, like overall, BMC tools help organization to streamline their mainframe development process, automate manual tasks, and improve the quality and speed of software developer delivery, I can say. Yeah. All right. Then, then we have this Rocket. And uh, Rocket software provides several tools for mainframe DevOps. Uh, it's starting with like uh, Rocket Alden Lifecycle Manager. This tool provides a complete solution for application lifecycle management, including version control, automated build and deployment, and release management. Then they have Rocket API. This tool allows organization to create APIs of, for their mainframe applications, making it easier to integrate 
them with other system and applications and they have lega suit uh, this tool enables organization to modernize their mainframe applications by creating web and mobile interfaces uh, without modifying any underlying code and then they have uh, blue zone this tool provides secure terminal emulation and web to host access to mainframe applications and then they have uh, mainframe data service this tool enables organization to expose mainframe data as a restful service making it easier to integrate with other systems and application and then they have terminal emulation uh, this tool provides secure access to mainframe application from desktops and mobile devices without requiring any modification to the underlying code right all these tools help the organization to streamline their mainframe development and operation process and then obviously enable them to deliver applications and services process faster and more reliable okay and uh, and 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 we also have this micro focus uh, as well so I haven't listed that but they do have a certain DevOps tool uh, they provide help in mainframe modernization and uh, building the mainframe DevOps pipeline okay now let's start so we know that those are the different tools uh, that helps in mainframe modernization or building the mainframe DevOps pipeline but there should be some consulting firms right so who are uh, helping the organizations or the companies are using the mainframe systems and helping them to modernize their mainframes right so these are the list of the consulting firms i can say uh, like astadia so they have a lot of clients uh, they are already implementing this mainframe devops or the mainframe modernization and the cloud computing environments right and obviously the ibm would be the consulting firms technology consulting firm and then we have like Broadcom BMC Microfocus Rocket Deloitte Accenture Capgemini Infosys and there are many others uh, started helping the organization in building this mainframe DevOps by utilizing the various different uh, tools provided by these companies like IBM BMC Compuware or Microfocus and Rocket right okay so this was an overview of the mainframe DevOps tool that are today used by the different, uh, I mean, the, dev, uh, uh, the de DevOps tools and services that's been provided today. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this to, uh, video. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more and more updates. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.